So this is the pupa about 15 hours after piparian formation. And now we are going to dissect the antennal part from the head. First, you make a small nick, about one third of the side wall. And then we pick the anterior and posterior part, and we can remove the anterior head capsule. And now, we pick the neck, we <coughs> make a nick just behind the neck. And we again pull apart the body dorsally and horizontally. And we make a nick through the body surface. And then pull the anterior part apart. Now we have the head on the right side of the faucet. And now we <coughs> remove the specimen within the body. At this stage, they are, are full of, of fat bodies, and most of the internal organs are already di dissolved during the yeah, metamorphosis. And here we have the central nervous system. This gray matter just below the right forceps into the brain. Sometimes it's a good idea to pipe it to wash out the debris of the small fat bodies and so on. This is especially useful for dissecting pupa because during the pupa stage they are full of fat bodies and uh, dissolved internal organs. Now we remove the pupal cuticle. There are two layers of, of cuticles. The outer one is the pupal cuticle and the inner one is the adult cuticle. And we now remove the pupal cuticle. And here on the, the anterior tip of the head, we have a pair of antennae, which is already formed, but still very small. these two protrusions. Now we remove the other part of the head capsule. So this is the, the primordium of the mouse. Now we remove this mouse part. So we cut the head capsule around the antennae. This is essentially the same when you, you want to dissect the adult antennae. To put something out, you must hold the part you want to remove and Keep the, the cut the region you want to keep in this way. Otherwise, you can easily damage the specimen. So now we have the antennae, two, one pair of antennae only. In this case, the the it's now ninety degree rotated. So this is the right direction. In this case, anterior to the, uh, no, 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 to the top. 
So you have a pair of uh, antenna segments on both sides of the specimen. Here is the S3 segment, and, and these small ones are the segments that are to the, uh, from S4 above. And now we, c we cut the two parts. Like this. In this case, we use a thin tungsten needle to cut the, the fine structures. This part is the S2 segment, the second segment. And we remove this part. And we only keep the S3 and above segment. If the tip of the needle vibrates too much, you can hold in this way to reduce the vibration. So these are the pair of antenna 